In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use the playlist uh, during a performance. Firstly, let's just load a set list to get it, uh, some songs loaded. I'll open the playlist by long pressing on the screen and opening the right slide button. Here we can see our songs and we can move forward them, uh, through them. We can move to the next song by pressing the next song button. Or we can swipe the screen. Either way, to scroll through it. Now, in this example, I have changed my timeline settings so that songs will be marked as played after a very short, short time so that I can demonstrate. So let's go to, um, say, Jenny. Basically, I want this to be mark, marked as played. And then as we move through the set list, once it's played, um, it will no longer be selected. We skipped over. So now you can see that it is marked as played. If I scroll backwards, it goes to Red House. If I press the next song button, it goes to It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. Now, some other features about the, the um, playlist is these filter buttons up the top of the screen can remove the set list markers and can remove played buttons, played songs from the playlist so that you can have a reducing list of what songs you haven't played yet in the band or in the performance. You can also jump to a particular place on the playlist by long pressing on it. So let's just say I long press on Crocodile Rock now. And you can see that's loaded instantly. Or on, on my mind or let's just say we are at I don't know about and we want to queue up on my mind as the next song we can double click on on my mind and it will be queued up as the next song do that again with carry on wayward son you can see that it is now mark it is now in the list as the next song The other thing, we can do that with already played songs as well, which will also mark them as unplayed.